Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Bendix booth. We're going to chat a little bit about slack adjusters and some maintenance, all right? There's not a lot to do with the maintenance on it other than a lot of visual inspections and uh, some good grease job. So as we get along, if you got any questions or anything, we'll go ahead and talk about them. Um, so everybody in here, all right? Are you having a great day? Yeah. Woke up this morning? Any day above dirt's a good day? All right, so let's get it going. So what we're gonna talk about first is greasing. So obviously we're gonna put the grease gun on the greaser, right, and we're gonna grease this. We're gonna grease it to a point, now you gotta stop and think that it doesn't take a whole lot of grease, but you need to put fresh grease in a slack adjuster every PM, okay? We're saying anywhere from three to six months, make sure that you grease them. So we're gonna go ahead and grease these. So when you grease them, what you wanna see in our slack adjuster, the boot, we have a boot right here in our adjusting link. So when you grease it, there's purge holes in the boot. So as you grease it, you'll start seeing these little grease worms, right? You wanna make sure that that's clean grease that comes out of there. Once you have that, then you're done. If you're having any water or dirty grease coming out, you, you pump grease in it until you get clean grease in it. Once you start seeing the clean grease, stop, all right? The other thing too is if you grease it too much and it blows this boot off, Make sure you squeeze the grease out of the boot, clean it up, and snap the boot back into place. It just pushes up over a little ring. All right, so once you get that done, we have clean grease. So what I wanna show you is what happens when you don't grease until they're purged clean. So if you take a look, you can see on this chart, this is the drive gear inside, this is the clutches. Wasn't greased very often or very well because you can see the boot, it's all tore up, right? Once that boot tears up, what's it gonna do? Let all the contamination up into the slack adjuster, now it doesn't operate, all right? So once you get that all, all dirty, then this is what happens. The grease turns to clay, basically. So when it turns to clay, there's no lubrication properties anymore, so it's not gonna work. It's gonna rust up, it's gonna seize up, it's not gonna operate properly, and the fine upstanding gentleman that pull you over on the side of the road and check your stuff is probably gonna give you a ticket for an out of service break. Okay, so preventive maintenance is very good and very strong with your slack adjusters. Just don't assume that I can grease it and walk away. You gotta make sure that everything's working properly. So when you do grease it and grease it properly at every PM, this is what that clutch looks like. It's got good clean grease in it. It's not rusted, it's not corroded, and it operates properly, all right? We all know that if you lubricate stuff properly, you don't get the gear wear, you don't get any failures. So again, that's what it looks like. You can also see the boot too is all brand new. It's still intact, nothing wrong with it. Other than the link is pushed off the bottom, but that just happened when we went ahead and pulled the clevis pins out and pulled the slack adjuster off. If that link does come out and you have our slack, push up on the bottom of the link as you adjust the brake back up, it'll retract that link back up into the boot like it belongs. All right, so if you take a look in this slack adjuster, obviously we have the adjusting nut, we have the grease cert, we have a boot, a link boot, adjusting link boot, we have an adjusting link. Inside you have the clutches, all right, this is what keeps it from backing off. This is what you gotta make sure that you have clean grease in and, and uh, it operates properly. And then you have your drive gear and you have a seal here, all right. If you over grease it too much with a high, a high pressure gun, you can blow that seal out and then that's gonna let contamination in too. So it doesn't take much grease, but you want to make sure that you have clean grease, okay? The other thing you want to do too while you're doing the maintenance is the lube, spray some lube on your clevis pins where they connect into the adjusting link and the slack adjuster self. Spray that with some WD-40, uh, rust buster, whatever, and make sure that they roll freely in there. If they don't turn and they seize up, you're going to get a misadjusted break because it's going to start binding and the slack adjuster won't know what to do. So make sure when you do your PMs, you grease it. Make sure that you go and spray these to the clevis pins. Make sure that they turn freely. The other thing that you're looking for is to make sure that this bushing is still good and it's not loose. If the slack adjuster can move on the clevis without the push rod moving, you got too much, all right? Does that make sense? So <clears throat> as we look at this, that's, that's greasing the slack adjuster and maintaining. All right, is there any questions about that? I mean, have you guys had problems? Do you use our slack adjuster? No, yes. Have problems with other people's slack adjusters. We all grease the same, okay? 
So the other thing too is how many of you grease the, or adjust the brake at every PM? Thank you. You do? Here's a, here's a little question. I'm not blowing you up over this, but here's a little question about this. It's an auto slack, right? What does DOT do when they go and check your slacks? They measure them. During your PMs, that's what you should do is measure your power stroke, all right? When you measure that, it's gotta be within a certain spec according to the chamber that you have, correct? So as long as it's within spec, it's okay. You also wanna make sure that your power strokes, that's 90 to 100 PSI full brake apply, all right, are equal all the way around the truck, all right? So on the drive axles, they'll all be the same power stroke, and on the steer axle, they'll all be the same power stroke, depending on your chamber size. Okay, does that make sense? So if you measure them, because that's what DOT is gonna do, and you're good to go. Every time you back this up, the clutches, you work against the clutches. On our slack adjuster, it can take up to 70 foot-pounds to back ours off. That's a pretty good torque. But so you think about every time you back that off or anybody's slack adjuster that you're backing against the clutches, it ratchets, doesn't it? So you're driving against the teeth. You're driving against the clutches and the springs. And every time you do that, it wears them a little bit more and a little bit more. And you do that over a couple of years, slack adjuster is probably going to end up stop working. Okay? So... Measure your brake strokes, make sure they're good. If they're not good, then you need to find out why. Do you have bad cam bushings? Do you have a bad slack adjuster? Do you have a bad brake? Do you have broken or cracked drums? There's a lot of things that all involve with a cam brake that could give you bad adjustments.